Hello friends, James Stevenson back with another episode of Who's Hating Hard on Tesla Today? We have a lying liar who lies today. I just did a video about him last week and he's been committing more chart crimes since and then lying about them. Can you believe it? You know, most of my Who's Hating Hard on Tesla Today episodes are what I would call people distorting the truth uh, to support their narrative, their bare thesis. Uh, in this case, Adam Warden is just making up numbers and laughing at anyone who asks about it. Uh, let's check in with Loki, who is curled up in bed, uh, before I share my desktop with you and jump right to the deleted tweet. We're going to see more than one deleted tweet from Adam Warden as he tried to cover his tracks when caught making up numbers and charting them to try to tell a false story about how Tesla is doing with sales in China. You know, Tesla's China sales are doing great, up 38% uh, year over year so far this year. In just the domestic market, exports are doing great too. Uh, I can show you a couple of charts. Well, maybe I'll do that right now. Uh, just to ground you on what's really going on, these are the numbers. Exports from China, domestic sales in China, probably easier to understand them on a chart. Uh, the 2023 numbers so far this year are in green, with Tesla uh, exporting more than 300,000 cars already this year. They've never had a, a full year where they exported that many. So exports are doing great. How are the domestic sales doing? They're also doing great. Uh, the green line again is 2023, with Tesla's domestic sales nearly at 500,000 already. Uh, last year had been the record year uh, at the time, and it didn't even make 450000 So again, Tesla is already ahead of the pace from the full year last year. Now, one thing I'll note on these, so people don't accuse me of uh, trying to hide it, is how flat this line was here. Uh, there were some shutdowns in the prior year in Q2 for Shanghai lockdowns. Uh, and you can see that on both of these charts. So... Uh, the growth isn't huge if you were to back that out. Uh, you can see the slopes of both of these lines are roughly trending the same. Uh, so Tesla continuing to grow sales in China this year is the point. What did Adam Warden say on his now deleted chart? He said Tesla's domestic sales in China this year so far were only up 7%. Uh, how did he get to that number? Well, that's a good question. It's a good question I would like an answer to and haven't gotten a straight answer to yet. Although he did try feeding me a couple of lies to get me to go away. Uh, let's start by showing you some of the replies he got to his wrong chart that he ended up deleting. Mateo Fish at Matt Fish Fish replied, Thanks for ignoring the enormous number of China export sales for the quarter meatball. And Adam replied to him before he found out his chart was wrong. So true, Tesla giving up on China to focus on exports. That's the analysis. That's the level of the analysis you're getting from Adam Warden. Sales are up 38%. He's telling you Tesla has given up on sales in China to focus on exports. Timmy Dubs replied, clown comment, man. Historically, Tesla exports at times in the year, which reduces China domestic sales during that period. That's not giving up when it's business as usual. You're wasting your time, clown. Adam replied, clowns that don't understand that year-to-date comparisons include the October export effects in both years with a clown emoji and a squinting face with tongue emoji, making fun of this guy telling this guy he didn't understand the year-to-date when, in fact, Adam Warden had a wrong prior year number on his chart and still didn't know it yet at that point. Uh, here's that same original post that he has since deleted. I replied, Nobody tell him. It'll be more fun to see how long it takes him to figure out that he has the wrong information on his chart. Uh, Brian White at uh, 4K Podcast, my Tesla Weekend, replied, He knows. He's not stupid. He's just hoping everyone else is. I replied, You're not accusing the warden of criminal wrong tweeting, are you? Because I had just published a video last week about his chart crime from last week in a totally unrelated post. All right, let's keep going. 
So what do we have here? Uh, Vittorio at Vittorio Benedet replied, bro, showing a chart from Roland Percher with the correct information on it. Does this look like 6% growth to you? No, it looks like 38% growth, which is the correct answer to the question, how much are Tesla's sales up year to date domestically within China? This comment was also deleted, and I don't have it for you. I can't even tell you what it was, but I can tell you that Roland Percher replied to it, correcting Adam, saying Tesla's domestic sales in China from January to October last year were 335,351, not 432,440. The full year total was 439,770. Uh, and Adam replied to that, You are right. I included exports in two months. My bad. So Adam wants off the hook right away uh, with this explanation. And what he did was delete the original post, as we've already seen, and issued a correction. But let's check out what he did with his correction. Um... Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, and then the, he left this snarky comment. We'll get to that in a minute. So his original chart did look something like this, but instead of it saying 335.411 over here, it said 440 and some change. And this number didn't say 37.8. It said 6.9, uh, because that's what you'll think it is if you have the wrong number in the prior year, mysteriously. I'm going to click through here and show you what he did. His correction was a reply to the original post, which he then deleted, ensuring that he would minimize the number of people who would see the correction. He didn't want anybody to know that he had an error on his chart, so the way he's covering his tracks, look at this, 205 views. Let's go back to one of my replies here. This reply way down the chain has 367 views, 322 here, uh, 268 here. Uh, no, those are likes, not views. It's 11,000 views here, right? So I've got uh, 50 times more views on my reply to him than he has on his correction. Folks, I, I think that's intentional. I think he did that on purpose so that people wouldn't know that he had made a mistake on his chart in the first place. Um, so, uh, let's, I think I have this in the next uh, tab anyway. Let's scroll on up here. Yeah, so here's his correction. And I'll just walk you down me trying to get to answers on where his wrong number came from in the first place. That should have been a straightforward, easy answer. Oh, it was these numbers that I added up that got me to that specific number that had been on the chart that Roland called out uh, on that uh, previous tab. So, Roland called out 432,440 as being his wrong number that was shown on his chart. Uh, so, I'll get to that one in just a minute. I just asked, which two months exports did you errantly include to get to 432,440? I should have just read it. Uh, with Roland's uh, tweet there. Adam replied, Not at my laptop now, but I think it was July and August 22. Embarrassing, but there you go. Well, I checked his story out to see if it held water uh, with my spreadsheet. Where did my spreadsheet go? There it is. Okay, so back to the data tab. So here's July and here's August of the exports from the prior year that he said he errantly included. And here's the year-to-date October 2022 domestic sales. That makes 397,570. See, he's off by 43,000 on this explanation. Uh, and I said, okay, when you're back to your laptop, could you explain how you got to it? And he said, I checked. And exports were included in the August 22 and October 22 numbers causing the error in a higher year-to-date 22 baseline. So let's go check that out. Uh, he's called out the specific numbers here, 42, 463, 54, 504. So there's 42, 463, there's 54, 504. Let's add the year-to-date October 2022 
domestic sales to it and see what we get. It's 432,318. That's not the right number either. Uh, so he replied, a tricky process capturing the data each month as different sources are hidden in the content, but mea culpa. Uh, my, my bad in Latin. Uh, so I said, but that still doesn't add up to the number you showed. 335 plus 42 plus 54 is 432. 318, the number on your chart was 432, 440, so your explanation doesn't work. Uh, one or two numbers may have changed slightly in the process of checking every different number, different sources for each, as I noted. I can see how this is really relevant with the eye-rolling emojis. All right, so I, I, I could see here that I needed to break down for him a recap of what's going on. Well, you've seen it in this episode so far, but let's, let's review, let's summarize. First, you made a chart comparing Tesla's premium price point EV sales against BYD's full lineup of models, be they gas, electric, economy, or premium. So if it's a, a plug-in hybrid microcar, it counts for BYD, including a specific wrong prior year number for Tesla, thus making a false claim about Tesla's year-over-year -year growth, which is a chart crime. Then you said it illustrated Tesla giving up on China to focus on exports. Then, you made fun of people who spotted your chart crime, calling them clowns that don't understand that year-to-date comparisons include the October export effects in both years. Then you tagged me in a reply, calling me and my followers childish names, uh, which you can read here. Uh, again, including BYD's budget compact cars with gas tanks and tailpipes in your comparison. Then, after Roland gave you the correct year-to-date October 2022 number for the prior year, you replied to the original tweet with a corrected version and then immediately deleted the original tweet to minimize the number of people who would see your erratum in their timeline explaining that you arrived at the wrong figure in the first place with a nonspecific and unconvincing explanation, uh, which I quoted here. Uh... An honest error, he called it. An honest error. He's just being honest with us, folks. Uh, given I took the time to check and correct, should confirm. Oh, yeah, we, we, we really believe you, Adam, that you checked and corrected it when you couldn't explain, after given three chances, how you got to your wrong number. Uh, your chart had originally claimed Tesla's growth in domestic sales in China was only 7% when it was, in fact, greater than five times more than that. Uh, so much for giving up on China. Then, when asked about how you arrived at the wrong number in the first place, you gave a specific and wrong answer that it was July and August, and that didn't work. Uh, then, when confronted with the fact that your story still didn't add up, you changed your alibi to a different specific and wrong explanation. Uh, your inability to provide any explanation that adds up is troubling, are unexplainable errors like this one we've seen in your recent chart crimes common characteristics of your work? Uh, you may not see how this is really relevant, but that only strengthens the argument that nobody should bother reading anything you ever post on X again. I can respect Tesla Q members cherry-picking and framing subsets of valid information to try to support their bare theses. That's gamesmanship. It's disingenuous, but it's fair play. What I cannot reasonably be expected to respect are liars who make up fake numbers, which I believe is what happened here, post repeated chart crimes, can't even explain how they arrived at their wrong numbers in the first place, even when given several chances, trying to pass off lies to cover other lies, and then attempting to laugh it off later with the incompetence defense. Oh, I'm sorry, I just make mistakes. Uh, not sure why I should respect someone who clearly does not respect me or my time. And we will close uh, here with a reply from Lieutenant Colonel, the LTCOLUSMC. The fact that he tags you is a friendly reminder that you're winning. I replied, the fact that he feels the need to repeatedly stretch the truth and chart bogus numbers is a friendly reminder that we're winning. And that's who's hating hard on Tesla today. It's Adam Warden once again. I don't uh, often feature two haters that quickly, uh, unless it's the fraud posing behind the fake name Brad Munkin, and I need to dunk on him. 
Uh, but with that, we'll check back in with Loki. Before I say, if you've enjoyed today's video, click the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, why not go ahead and subscribe to my channel? You can do that on Patreon or on X, which is how I recommend you do it. Just uh, follow me and then subscribe to me for $3 a month. I appreciate your support, all of you who are doing that. Uh, but it's free to follow me on YouTube if you're watching my video on YouTube. I'll leave a link over here to do that. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of Adam Ward? Are you going to block him? Are you going to mute him? Uh, and uh, a special thank you to my two executive producers, Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com. And I'll see you in the next one.